Uh, Trump landed a one-punch knockout with Biden, and he's looking to do it again with Kamala. The first debate, scheduled for September, Trump agreed to three. Kamala so far has only agreed to one. And here's how they're prepping. Kamala's doing her debate prep at Howard University with the same method actor Hillary used in 2016. It's a guy with a long tie who interrupts her constantly. <laughs> Trump's not using method actors. He's bringing in Tulsi Gabbard, who single-handedly ended Kamala's presidential run in 2019, remember? She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Trump debate prep specialist and former 2020 <laughs> presidential candidate, Tulsi Gabbard. All right, so Tulsi, you really zeroed in on Kamala Harris. What was it about Kamala that opened you up for that kind of attack? Really, Jesse, it was exposing her for her hypocrisy. She is a typical politician who will say one thing and do another. Rules for thee, but not for me. And that's a reflection of exactly how she is going through this debate prep. She's got her pollsters surrounding her. They're telling her word for word exactly the things that she needs to say, the lines she needs to memorize so that she can act and put on a big show uh, in this debate. And it's such a huge contrast. Uh, you know, you saw once she was confronted and challenged a little bit on her hypocrisy, she didn't respond very well. And, and I think that points to the big contrast that the American people will see in this upcoming debate. President Trump is real. He is not a politician by any means. I don't think we want another typical politician who is choosing their every word very carefully. He's a real person, a strong leader, a strong debater who has strong views on issues. And, and you don't have to guess where he stands on those issues, and you don't have to guess about what he will do, because he's got four years of a record to stand on of success. The, so that's what happened with Biden. They spent a week at Camp David pumping him full of memorized lines in between lasagna runs, and he couldn't keep it together. He couldn't memorize it, and then he couldn't deliver it, and he fell apart. Trump just, boom, boom, fell apart. You're saying Kamala Harris is similar? They're basically phony hypocrites who have to memorize things in order to get by because they can't be honest with what they believe. So Trump just has to come out, as you did, hit her square between the eyes and she crumbles? Yeah, you know, President Trump has shown through 2016, 2020, 2024 with his debate with Joe Biden, he's a phenomenal debater. Uh, he knows his record. He knows the issues. Uh, if I can be helpful anywhere, it is sharing the tricks that Kamala Harris will try to use to lie to the American people and, and try to make them forget what her true radical record is. Uh, you know, we, we just saw she laid out her big economic plan, and it was, it was a very uh, memorized speech. The moment she was challenged by a reporter, she said, it's a mistake for you to ask me what it costs. Don't ask me what this is going to cost. It, 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 th this is what we will see more of from Kamala Harris. <laughs> It's a mistake to ask me what it costs. Yeah. Wow.